What is up everybody, Reset Renegade here, ResetRenegade.com. Check out the link in the description below, links to the website, uh, lots of cool stuff there, articles and other such items. Um, today I wanted to talk about, I've been trying to do this video on how I store my Amazon inventory for like three weeks and I just haven't had a chance to actually make a video out of my storage unit. So today I just wanted to talk to you and tell you and, and explain how I do it um, rather than trying to shoot a video down there because it's obviously not working for me. So, a lot of people have asked me um, how I store my Amazon inventory. The question, or the answer to that question is that I have a storage unit that I pay for. Um, that's, it's a, a 10 by 20 unit, and I have a bunch of shelves set up in there. And basically, it's, it's really simple. Um, when you're listing on Amazon, Amazon gives you a SKU number. Um, and they auto-generate that SKU number for you unless you actually type in a SKU number. Um, I use automatically generated SKU numbers. And all of those SKU numbers end in either a letter A through Z or a number 0 through 9. And so what I've done is I take my shelves and I've labeled them A through Z, 0 through 9. And when I list a bunch of items on Amazon, I print out, you know, let's say I list 25 items. I copy and paste those things and I, I print out a list of the items that I listed. And the last digit of that SKU is the shelf that I put that item on. And so when I sell something, it sell, Amazon sends me an email that says, sold, ship now, this item, seller SKU, this. I can look right away at that item SKU and say, okay, I know that's on shelf B. And I go to shelf B, and all I have to do is wade through a shelf of B instead of an entire inventory of stuff. Now, that's, that's only for my merchant fulfilled stuff because obviously my FBA stuff gets packed up and shipped off to Amazon. And they store it however it is that they store it over there. Um, so it's only my merchant fulfilled items. So really I can store pretty much everything in a 10 by 20 and uh, all of the items that I buy for Amazon that are merchant fulfilled are very small. So I take tubs and I put them in, in each slot of the shelf and then within that shelf if I have multiples of an item I put those inside of boxes in the tubs and I just label the boxes. Um, that way it's easy for me to find and within those tubs sometimes what I've recently started doing um, now that I've got even more inventory is I'll take the last digit of the SKU and that's where the, the shelf the item goes on and then the second to last digit of the SKU is also an A through Z 0 through 9 number and I'll alphabetize the items on that shelf by the second to last digit so if the last two digits of the SKU are NB right I'll put it on the shelf B and I'll put it in the back or in the middle, I guess, towards the end products, whereas the second to last letter is N here, the second to last letter is A here, second to last letter is Z there. So hopefully that makes some sort of sense. But that's basic breakdown on how I organize my Amazon inventory. Um, eBay is a different story and we'll get to that in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you found any kind of uh, value in this video, please like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. If you would, subscribe button is right up here. So uh, take a second and click that little button there. Um, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you tomorrow.